if you thought there was a lot of gold on screen in the last video, you have no idea. Clearly, we like things. We love gold. You see, before memes, we just quoted movies at each right. other. Like people don't remember that era. We did. That's we just we just said movie lines and everyone laughed and that's had how no context. Talk. That's yeah. was a weird time. What are we talking about? What's up? What's up? Next on Ugly Bear. Welcome back, sports fans, to another episode of Ugly Thirds. Our topic today is the National Predators' top three jerseys. John and Shrems, take it away. For Shrems and John, like you've been doing for the past, you know, 800 videos, Phil, why him now? Why does he get... Uh, I, I, I don't know. You know, some actors pay extra to get the and of whoever at the end. What are we paying you for? You're using most of my equipment, so I don't know how we're going to pay for <laughs> You're the producer. That's the point. I just no, pick producer. up another tutoring, right? Just be able to afford it, right? All right, all right continue. <laughs> Look, you're the one who has a reverse retro addiction, okay? Don't don't blame this on you me. You encouraged it. Speaking of, hey, I, look, just because I'm a segue. bad influence. That's a bad. lot of gold. Oh, there's going to be so, so much more gold. <laughs> Phil, when they wear this. Um, This is the... You have this. Phil.exe has crashed. Wrong. It's... it's Reverse Retro 1.0, uh, so it's 2021 22, isn't it? 2020 2021. Yeah, you have 2022. So Whatever. it's 2021. <laughs> you know, the same thing is This is when the world Santa shut down, okay? <laughs> so this is Reverse Retro from this, their original. And uh, why not the original, you might ask? Hmm. Well, I, I think this just pops that much better and it makes more sense. I think that the, the weirdest thing about this look, which is this stripe underneath that ends randomly. Hmm is uh more muted like it's it's less of a thing yep um and then just all the extras going on at the bottom like there's a lot happening at this hemline i think it's just less egregious in this color scheme using navy as the accent color works for this jersey yeah um it's the it's a perfect balance and and even in the main logo there the navy silver and white that they have which is a little bit different than what we've been than seeing up to this point. They've essentially simplified the logo in terms of colors, but it it's exponentially better. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but less is more sometimes, addition by subtraction. It, this the silver just accents very, very well. Uh the navy contrasts with that white and the gold. Um, everything about this is just spectacular. You know, the, the worst part is the font. And then there's a lot of people who hate this logo, the the uh, skull. Yeah. But it's a it's a throwback that updates to what it should be. Like if if I did an NHL series, I want I want it to be like updates and upgrades. And so they took a jersey that could use some updates, and they did. They did it, and they did it very well. Yep. And if this became a permanent third jersey, I would be very happy. This was probably overlooked in reverse retro one. And people saw it, they're like, oh, okay. But it, it's very well done. Other than Pittsburgh, because I had to get, because I have every Pittsburgh, this was the other one I went out and bought immediately. Yeah. That's a good look. Do you have any more gold, though? Because I feel like the camera is not oversaturated. Oh, good. I love gold. So when they wear this? 2017 to present. Uh, and, and when they have a 25th anniversary patch next year, that's going right there. Mm. Um, so. This is, uh, they took the Reebok one and they simplified it a bit. Probably one of the only downgrades in the Adidas era because not a lot changed during the Adidas era. Yeah. Uh, nice, thick, chunky uh, thing. Uh, and then the, the guitar stripes in the numbers. Phil, you want to zoom? That, that is not contrasting well. Which, I guess, is part of the point. You don't want a lot of design in your numbers. The whole point is legibility. Classy and not... Uh... It doesn't deter from the jersey. Like it's it it very much plays into where you're from, and it's unique to you and you only. Nobody else is going to do this. They have no reason to. I don't love that it's Adidas and it's it's just printed, but you know you pay enough. Uh, the shoulder patch on one shoulder I think is a classy look and an ode to the, uh, the so state flag. That's the NT that we were looking at in that last video. Yeah, and you know? it's also printed. You know, uh, Nashville in the back, not great, but it's, it's not very red. Also true. It's crude. Um, the, the collar. How about is that a collar? 
Oh, and inside the car with the piano keys, you like the hanger effect there, Phil? Yeah, I mean, in Nashville's about country music, and you got you got some piano going on there. So, I mean, I dare say the white version of this is better. I think I have a slide of it. Phil, if you want to take a look, there haven't been a lot of slides this, to interject. This, this might be... Uh, Here we go. We're going to ruin everything. Hey, yeah, I got to put that in there. Beautiful man. Like, just because there's more to it, and I'm I'm shocked that none of us own it, especially since a whole bunch of them went cheap, um, I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to work on adding it. Okay, Jersey Concierge, like, come on here. Well, I mean, look, there's there's one, uh, I think it's a Subban online for 40 49 right now, and I think there's another one, an Arvidsson? Yeah, he's in LA right now. Yeah. So, like, I, I, like I, I think that's... That's a slight improvement on this. I don't know how you integrate that into the gold, maybe maybe navy blue shoulders with a white stripe. The white breaks it up though. Like the all gold is it's fine, but there's something about a white jersey that just kind of separates those colors. I don't like it the yellow on the top stopping though. Like it's very like just, you see, I, I don't mind like it's it's a very old look. It it does, it just truncates, it just stops. This looks like a cable runner. <laughs> Look, if we had one, I think I would have put it second over this one. Yeah, but it's not number Do one. Do you have any more gold though? So that's my question. We don't. We haven't had a lot of. Oh, there it is. Bill, when they wear this? This was twenty um, two two thousand eleven to two thousand seventeen. So I I'd make fun of them for reading, but it's my handwriting. So um, look, this was the Reebok. Uh, they started to go into the the terrible one we talked about last time. Yeah, and. Uh, they, this is the original. Okay, we're going to take a hard left on this away from the checkerboard third, none of us can afford to something, something completely different. They went hard into gold, the only team in the league at the time really doing that. Uh, and they went into it very hard. Uh, and I think there's just more design to this. In fact, let's, let's call her a little more interesting. I'm not going to ever write home about a collar, though. That's just Reebok's Reebok. Uh, you have. The sleeves, there's an extra stripe in there, right? Uh, and then this with the uh, hemline has an extra stripe where you can see, like, okay, this is white, then navy, and then that is navy, white, and navy. Uh, and then the piping. And usually I'm very anti-piping. But first off, it gives something up here when this is just completely unbroken. I think that's why I like the whites better. Sure. It's just that it has something happening here. Uh, but they cribbed this from the St. Louis design. That's the exact same jersey element that Reebok used from both, the white here versus the navy here. Uh, however, this doesn't have a hemline stripe, so it's instantly not as good. And they're predators. It kind of makes a fang kind of look. And fang for how much here. we've made fun of fangs, fang here. there's a team that should have fangs, and it's the Nashville Predators. Fangs. Two of them. Like, I think it's a brilliant little element that I don't know how on purpose it was, but I like it. Really, yeah. you know, the, only, the only thing I don't like about this shirt, and you can see it on the back as well, is this piping goes over top oh, in the back. Yeah. I think if they would have cut it off here and like, oh, it goes behind the stripe, I think it would be perfect. Yep. And, and, and they, even, they even improved over the St. Louis design. Here we have a Rebox deliberately to highlight the maker. Here they did not. They made it the whole way across. Built it in. Right? And while, again, Nashville is still a bit much, uh, still like this and the, the hidden NP, uh, and there's actually more texture in the Reebok number than in the Adidas number, and this is Adidas, not Fanatics. Um, I think that's a great look. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to go back to it again. You add that navy as an accent, and, and you do it at just the right amount. This one has just the right amount of navy. You you can't go wrong. Navy silver, navy white. Like that's there's something about it, and it, it has enough contrast between the bright gold versus what we saw navy and red with the capitals. Yep. Right. It's it it works. It's a good contrasting color. Yeah. All right. A lot of gold. A lot, lot of gold. Look at that. A lot of gold. Look at all this gold. Uh. So that's gonna wrap it up for us. He's Shrems. I'm John Phil. Thanks, out. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and tune in for another episode of. I like thirds. Gotta make a catfish thing reference, you know but Phil just screwed it up. We're done.